I mean it's something about a fresh line Make a man feel like a million bucks Fresh fade, get the tape or the shadow on it Them waves so deep, you need a paddle for them uh, I mean it's more than just hair It's the confidence you feeling when you step up out that chair And I swear, they tell me every bob is mean From Trav Hearn, B to Saeed, now say hello to the team Cause the style supreme, my nigga don't forget the style supreme They know the style supreme, supreme style Keep the whole town clean, get a can of that sheen Spray it on me, make me feel like a king Like a king. That's what I mean by gold dreams And they gon' get up on this smooth shit one day One day, one day, one day And you could even bang this cut on a Sunday, Monday A bunch of Blake Griffins with them clippers A Chris Paul throwing lives to a saw It's more than a cut, you don't need no stitches for this Nah, walk around with your missus for this They know it's squizzy, but we gon' say exquisite for this Squizzy! Exquisite for this Put your sons, put your pops, put your neighbors on it That flavor on it, then finish it with a razor on it Because it's more than a cut though I swear it's more than a cut Now grab a mirror Right after that finishing touch Get up out the chair, you know what's up. And we're on. Yo, what up? <laughs> Spring Style TV back. Spring Style Barbershop TV, we back. We didn't miss a couple weeks. But uh, we glad y'all y'all back and we back. And it's, it's time to talk about some real serious stuff today. Kind of mad uh, about my Broncos. Broncos. Uh, but I'm gonna get over house. that. I'll get over that because I think it was some point shaving going on. I'm still on the conspiracy. I think uh, you know, it was some real life point shaving going on and uh Peyton Manning was in on the crunch. So uh just know that I know Peyton. But you made your sacrifice this year. You go ahead and get it there next year. Get that Super Bowl ring, they're gonna give it to you next year. But this year, you had to make the sacrifice. You sacrificed the Broncos. You let them know you're still the team player with the uh, the mob and the Illuminati. Who was that? <laughs> so, the sacrifice trial? Yeah, yeah. See, 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 this is the thing. This is what I'm trying to say. This is what I'm trying to... Let me explain to y'all. Okay. When, when you got a player that can dictate the outcome of a game, you want the ball in his hand at the end of the game. And we had a player that dictated the game. And that player is... Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning. Y'all want me to put it like the fans? Peyton fucking Manning. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so now you, now, now we can say it like, you know, you use that middle name, you know, in certain ways, you know. It, it, during the season, it was like a good fucking, good Peyton. <laughs> you like Peyton fucking Manning. But now it's Peyton fucking Manning. You know, and I think I think Peyton Peyton dictated the outcome of this game, man. With all the kneel downs, I'm telling you, like he didn't want to give the ball to the running back because he didn't know if the running the running back's not in on the fix. So the running back he could have got the six seven yards, and the game over. But Peyton like nah nah nah. I control this. Kneel down. <laughs> Thirty one seconds, two timeouts. Kneel down. I can see I'm putting the conspiracy in y'all head. See y'all 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 weren't thinking about this. Then he throws an interception on second down, like the sense of urgency was there on second down and double overtime. You throw an interception where our player couldn't even knock the ball down. Right. Come on, man. Come on, son. Come on, son. Conspiracy, right? Conspiracy there. right there. Sports is fixed. Just hope your team is in on the fix. <laughs> Your team ain't that good. Yeah, I thought that. Um, you know, just looking at that that third down situation where you, I think they had like a minute left, and he chooses to 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 run the ball when it was third and seven. When you got Peyton Manning, all right, man, this dude could throw he throw the ball short all that one day. You know what I'm saying? All day, you treat us like this. Treat us like this. See, this is the thing. This is the thing. I'm, I'm not. I'm not feeling that. So, you know, I'm still a Bronco fan, but I'm, I'm going to let y'all know. My team is in on the fix next year. So just know that. Just know that my team is in on the fix. Just, let, just know that my team is in on the fix. Oh, we got a showstopper right in front of the camera. 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 Right in front of the camera.
Yeah. We record, man. Come on. Get up here. You might as well get up here and sit down, man. Okay. Oh, man. In the building. Come on. Hey, 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 this is what happened. You know, you come in here, you, you, you cut the show. You, you in the show? We got Uncle over here on the sideline. Uncle been outside waiting on his barber for two hours. <laughs> I rode by early this morning to get some breakfast. I seen Uncle down there asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we talking about we talking about the Broncos, how the Broncos uh, gave the game away, man. True that. And how we uh, how we uh, it's a premium style barbershop TV though. Absolutely, you know what I'm it's a premium. So, see, see, that's what I'm talking about. Supreme. <laughs> you come in, you got that supreme spirit, you know? Right. So, look, so we got Brother yeah. Alturas in the building. In, in the, the building. Uh, Travis was explaining to us, Brother Alturas, about the uh, the Broncos fix. The how fix. Uh, your boy Peyton Manning was in on him. Right. <laughs> the whole time. Peyton's in on the fix, man. The whole time. But, it, you know, it's, it's about sacrifice. So, he sacrificed this, this new team that he got. You know, they let him, they put him on the pedestal all, all season. Most but bad. now you sacrifice. Now Vegas, that fix, Most this bad. is the lick. Most like bad. there's always one lick in that in the playoff games. Because Most like bad. if the Broncos would have won, the money wouldn't have been as, as high. The, the twelve yeah. to one, there ain't no more twelve to ones. Right. So now everything is two to one, three to one, mm -hmm. you know, right there almost dead even. So Vegas really don't make no money, but that Vegas made money off this game that last year. Yeah, I'm from Las Vegas. See? So I know exactly what you got. See what I'm saying? And there's seven people that run Vegas. Most that? <laughs> <laughs> Vegas Most don't have a government. <laughs> no. There's they got seven monsters. people that they run monsters. Vegas. They got gangsters. <laughs> they got seven dudes that yeah. run that, that whole town. Yeah. So it's I mean it's, it's it's one of those things, man, and, and people gotta know that I think I think sports is fixed. Absolutely. So I, you know, I root for my team, but I don't be like, uh, I don't be like, want to kill myself after the game. Right. You know, I'd be like, oh man, we just wasn't in on the fix this year. Nah. We was in on the other fix, the, <laughs> the money fix. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> just, just like last year when we had Tebow, we had Tebow last year, and Pittsburgh was the, the heavy favorite. Yes, sir. Coming in here, Pittsburgh yes, was the heavy That's favorite, right. and we beat Pittsburgh. Yeah, you did. In overtime. With T-Blow. With T-Blow. Come on, man. Right. Kneeling down. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, a lot of people, a lot of people say, a lot of people say, uh, uh, you know how the world is, man. Everybody say, it's because the Broncos wasn't praying. Because Ray Lewis was over there praying. <laughs> right. He was over there praying the whole game. Right. He was there, every time he looked over at Ray, he was there like this. Like, right. <laughs> <laughs> so they like Bronco wasn't praying, so they don't believe in God. Come on, man, with that. Yeah, that's real. You know what I'm saying? And last year, last year, Tebow, he was down on his knees. You know what I'm saying? And miracles was happening. Right. Miracles in the Maha City. <laughs> but I, I recall when we played against New England, he was praying too hard. <laughs> right. He did a double yeah. pray right. right. He, he right. was on two knees. Right. <laughs> okay. Like, dear God, help us. One time. So you know what I'm up with this? So the bottom line is Jesus don't give a damn about, about, about football. football. <laughs> you need to do God. And he watch over you. He ain't going to fix the game like uh, Vegas. Uh, uh, you ain't going to get that, man. You already know the most important play. Yeah, there's a higher power in this football, in these sports. Most Las Vegas, man. So yeah, man. Hey, uh, you, you seen Django? No, Django. Man, y'all don't go get Django, out and go man. see this movie, man. Yeah, man. I've been under the weather this week, man. So. Django, we got it on bootleg. That's bootleg. We got bootleg. We got three dollar bootleg. Frame style. Not yeah. here though. Let's do it. Right, right, right. Let that be known. We're not selling that. We're not selling that at all. But we know who got we it. We know. Uh. Wink, wink. <laughs> we know who got it. <laughs> but here we here, here we go. Django, man. Django is a good movie, man. And it's not. It's not. You know, like. Like everybody, everybody black, they running around. I don't want to see that shit. I don't want to see Django, cause you know I don't want to see no, see that uh, a, a free slave killing white people. It ain't right, about right, that, right. man. It wasn't about that. It was a white dude that pulled him in, yes sir, and taught him how to 
He was a bounty hunter. Yes, sir. All he did was teach him a job. He was, gave him a training. And back then, bounty hunting was dead or alive. Right. right. So dude would rather bring your ass in dead. Most <laughs> time. Most time. So he'd rather kill you than Most bring time. you alive. Because you was working more money dead than alive. Most of so he like, I get $200 for him dead, and I get $100 for him alive, I'm going to get the 200 so, that, so that's what it was. You know what I mean? Good movie. Very, very, very good movie. Very good movie. Get ready for me today. I have to look into that. I have to look into it. I got six, so it's like... Yeah, so it's, it's a good movie, man. We got Uncle over here plugging the church. Uh, Men's yeah. Day is Sunday at the church. What church? What church we at? On the phone, he ain't even listening. He just in the show like Men's Day is Sunday at the <laughs> West <Wessons> Tabernacle. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah. So, so you got you got to see Django, man. It was a, it was a, it was everything involved. Everything in the movie we had was was you know it was like it touched on slavery. Yes, sir. You know what I mean. But here you are. You had a free a free dude. He got freed by the bounty hunter. Yes, sir. Hey, Miss Payton. So Jamie was able to go around and help this dude kill people. So it wasn't even about like you know everybody thinking it was on, on some. I don't want to see Nat Turner too. You know what I mean? Right, you know, like, right, nah, right, it wasn't right, about right. that. It was like this dude was, and he gives a love story connected to it. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. He looking for his wife. Then you got some funny parts, some oh, really oh, funny oh. parts in the movie. Where you about to go? We can't see. We on these horses. We on these horses that we can't see. Let's take these damn things off. You know what I'm saying? So that was a funny part of the movie. So it had some comedy. It had it had some it had some real life. You know, some some things that some some gut wrench. I mean, you know, some heart heart jerkers. Like you know, they had cats fighting. Yes, one of them, you know, fighting in the living room. The Mandingo part. And then one of them killed the other one. You know, I was like, damn. You know. So it was a trip. It was a good movie. Kind of hit you on all the emotional. Yeah, levels. yeah, it and, it, and it was action packed. It was action packed, and even the, even the parts that wasn't action, you would watch the movie to where two hours and forty five minutes rolled by. You don't even know that, that you was in there that long to so show your watch it's like just that. that here, that's yeah, it's just that entertainment. Yeah, but I mean, it, it's a good, it's a good watch for for, for both all races. Like you know, it ain't it ain't just. Uh, you know, everybody watched Roots. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? They watched Roots, and, and it was like some, most some most scary, scary Negro mm -hmm. type stuff. Everybody right. getting beat, and everybody scared, running. Yes, 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 yes. No, yes, sir. No, sir. No, sir. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to hear like my hero type. You know, like dude stood up for himself. Nah, nah. You know, he talked back. So that was my, that was a good movie. Samuel L. Jackson did his thing. Yes, sir. He was a, he was an Uncle Tom. Time to house house to the tenth. <laughs> what was the name? Steven. Oh, Steven. My Samuel man. Samuel L. was Steven. Steven. I'm telling you, and, and, and it was crazy because you know that H and I C. Yes, sir. That's it. That's him. That's him. That's him. I know. Not not the boss. He's the head nigga in the in the in the house. So he talked. He talked to everybody. He ran the crib. You know what I'm saying? He was telling black and white what to do. So he was a trip. Like he was like he was like that dude. Like he made he made he made uh, Uncle Tom Negroes really. He made them mad. Right. Because <laughs> they can like see themselves and they like I don't look like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But but he was like he was he was on it. Right. But they didn't have no. They only had like two Oscar nominees, and that was like for Best Picture. Or, she lives there. What was it? Right. I think Best Original Screen. Best Original Screen Play. That was whack, man. So Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio, he did his thing. Yeah. Right. Jamie Foxx did his thing. Yeah. Kerry Washington did her thing. And no, not one of the not actors. One, not one, not one of the actors, because I think it was yeah, two. some heavy hitters. That you, you yeah, yeah. yeah, Samuel yeah. L. Samuel like L. should have got it. Samuel, if you, if, if you got a person that you hate, when you leave the movie theater and you hate him and you know that he was acting, 
Right. He did his thing. Right. He did his thing. Right. He did his thing. Because from here on out, I don't think Samuel Oak. Samuel Oak might as well go to Sesame Street. <laughs> and there's no work with more than free. Because they hate this ass now. He ain't going to get no more work, man. You know what I'm saying? They go, they go put oh, Samuel L out there, you know, because Samuel L was like, he went so hard, like, you know, and everybody like, I hate Samuel L. Huh. I can't stand Samuel L. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the, mm -hmm. Now there was a lot of uh, controversy surrounding the movie, of course, because of the content. You know, it was dealing with slavery as a backdrop. And, uh -huh. You know, a lot of people had um, problems with it um, because of Quentin Tarantino's use of the uh, the N word. Yes, what, sir. what were your uh, thoughts on that track? Because they said I think he used it like over 178 times, times or something, something like that. Like I don't care about that. I say nigga every day. <laughs> <laughs> the N word, okay. The N word. <laughs> you know, I say it every day. You know what I'm okay. saying? So we say it every day. And the people that the people that's complaining about it, they say it. So they know they man, know. get the get out of here with that shit. In a whole different context, though. Yeah, yeah, go see the movie, man. You know, people you got people talking about I use the word as a term of endearment. But you mad at this dude for saying it, you know. Right. And I don't think right. he said it enough. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> really, really, two hours and 45 minutes, you can sit with your boys for two hours and 45 minutes and hear the word niggas Way over 200 that. times. Way more than mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Way you can hear it over that. 200 times. You sit there, you know, just, just at a table with a couple couple people and they talk oh, about it. Good. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So. It ain't no, it ain't yeah. no, I don't believe in that, I don't believe that. I think a movie like this had to come out though, man, you know what I'm it saying? It had to. So that everybody can see like what really happened, because slavery now is like the, the elephant in the room, so to speak, that, don't nobody want to talk about. Don't nobody want to talk about. You know what I'm saying, like, but it's so important, man, like past, present, and future. But they said that there was, there was over a million untold stories of slavery, so. For sure. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So that's one that they, they don't want to tell you. For sure. They couldn't have, they couldn't have, Put Django out in the sixties. Most definitely. Come on, man. For real, man. Catch would have been. Catch would have been. It would have been an up, up, uprising. Of, you know, brothers would have been running around with pistols and. For real. I'm gonna kill everybody. No, man. We can't. We we gotta let y'all see this. We beating y'all. Y'all shut up. Most Stay over here. You can't Most put that out. So now I think. I think with us having a black president. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? We got a black president. Yes, sir. Barack, even though Barack, you ain't helped us out. And see. True that, but still, like, even though, like, with a movie like this coming out, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, it gives you a peek into the past, but then when you look at Barack in the White House, it gives you that strong, powerful presence, too, the rise it, it does. of it the does. black man, you know it what does. I'm saying? Like, from where we come from to where we are now. Yeah, he's still it running does. master's affairs, but exactly. yeah, still, look at how far, like, we've come, you know what I'm exactly. saying? Then, like, you look at the youth, our okay. future, when they look at Barack, they feel like they can do anything. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly. So that's exactly. spirit right So I can there. get that job. Yeah. They but but I, I think people should teach, should teach the kids, like, that's a job. You know what I'm saying? Yes, that's sir. a job, too. Like, yes, sir. Like, you know, he's not really, he worked for a company. Right. Corporation. Like, they think, like, once you once you get uh, top of the ladder, that, <laughs> right. that you running something. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Rock ain't running nothing. Man, right. he's running what they want him to run. They, exactly. Hey, you go do this, you go exactly. do that. Exactly. And Barack is putting in work. <coughs> Barack done killed a whole lot of people. No, it's not, not, not hey, 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 cross him. You're, you're, you're out of here. They go that G word again. Like, you're you know, out of here. Games, so Barack, man. we still friends, man. I, I'm on the low. I ain't nothing, man. Right. right. <laughs> but, but, but we see I ain't you. trying to put nothing together, to Barack. <laughs> but, but we see you. <laughs> but we see you, Barack. We, see you, we know what it is. <laughs> hey, Barack, they get free phones though. He gave some free phones. You got a social service. It's a free track phone. Free track phone. Let's go. Hey, for a year, you get a free phone for a year. I didn't know that. I need that phone, man. No, you do not. You do not need that phone. I'm not doing nothing legal. I ain't doing nothing legal but taking appointments, man. I'm taking appointments on that phone. I need that phone, bro. Now, what about the, um, you know, to get back to Django, what about the love story uh, portion of it? What were your... The, Hey, you know, the love story, I, I really like that because it was, a, it was a brother fighting for his sister. You know what I'm saying? We uh -oh. don't do that. We, we do that, we do that, but we really don't do that no more. Nah, we right, we kind of cool on, on y'all. I'm sorry, sisters. <laughs> but, but we kind of cool on chasing y'all, you know, trying to find y'all and make, make that love happen because y'all ain't looking for that. Y'all y'all pushing us off. Y'all shooing us off. Y'all treating us bad. Okay? Uh -huh. 
Right. I'm gonna tell it like it is. Tell it like it is. And it is what it is. Right. Y'all treat us bad. Huh. But I got a good one. I got a good one. I ain't gonna lie, I got me a good one. But mm -hmm. you know, the brothers that I, a lot of brothers, man, they you know, y'all sisters out there, y'all doing wrong, man. Make it hard. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it used to be a point where brothers would let their sisters go out and, and, and with their girlfriends, but now the girlfriends is looking on them and all that crazy right. stuff, man. My so, girl got a girlfriend. Right, hey, 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 you can't really trust these, these women. Right. Man. Women, is, <laughs> women is looking at everything. They're right. looking at women. They're looking at other dudes. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, come on, y'all. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's shaped, though, by things like Hollywood. Hollywood. Hurting, you know what I mean? Like but but women, I, I hear a lot of women, how they come across it, like, I don't need no man. You know what I'm saying? I don't need no man to get this. I, I've been doing this on my own. Right. I don't need no man. Right. I don't need no man for nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing this. You drive down the street. But they'll be right down the street at child support. That's what they'll be doing. They'll be right down the street at child support. Get him. Right. He worked <laughs> over there. Go <laughs> back and get that money for me. No, you need that nigga. You need him. Right. Just go on and admit it. Like, you need him. Right. You know, brothers, That's I mean, real. we we need y'all. We need we need, we need need somebody in our That's corner. Real. But if it That's ain't real. you, if it ain't you, somebody's going to be there. That's real. Somebody's going to be in your place. Indeed. That's so, I mean, real. you know what I'm saying? It was good to see, like, that that whole little love story. Brother, brother going after his wife. You know, she's a sister. She's bad, too. Ooh, she bad. You know, he was trying to get his wife. You know, she was, she was bad. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I heard Carrie took a couple of swipes, uh, swaps in the back from the uh, what she get? She got hit with the, got with, the with the whip. That whip. She got hit with the whip. She took a real one. She wanted to make yeah. out thing. And um. I think I think I seen the one that she took was real because I dissected that movie. Huh? And, and she couldn't even say nothing. <laughs> Her mouth just open like that. <laughs> 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 Say nothing, nothing. Wasn't no acting about that. Like right. it came out open, like. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I, I I think I think us seeing that was pretty good. You know, it might bring back the back black love, but these women gotta they gotta put their guards down, man. They gotta you know your little list is too long. True that. All the, I, I know a lot of black women with a long black a, a, a long list that you got like the brother got a. Check off everything on that list, but you, you ain't holding up to, the, right. to no list. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You ain't holding up to no list. Right. Man, you ain't the shit. Now, what about the um <laughs> the imagery that was that was uh, <coughs> during the movie? And I say that because you know normally with movies, movies send out images all over the world. You know what I'm saying? And they 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 give people a certain feeling when you leave the movie, like. I always think about Menace to Society, man, how when I left that movie, so like, I felt uh, sick to my stomach. Uh, yeah. Like, this is not cool. What about the, the imagery that Django sent out? Because, I, I mean, I felt good after I left the movie. I felt really good. But a lot I of felt, people didn't. I felt like he was like my little hero. Like Django was my hero only because there was a dude back in slavery that, that spoke up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I don't like saying that. Like, you know, but you know how all brothers... Every brother you know would be like, if that was me back then, I would I would have did this. They would have had me in slavery. Right. I would have been talking. I would have been I would have said this. You'd have been dead. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. See that's what I'm saying. So here you right. go, here's a dude that like stood up for himself. He talked a lot of stuff. He talked back. He he talked to slave masters bad. You know what I'm saying? He so one of the more apologetic. Yeah, he wasn't apo yeah, he wasn't apologetic on me. It made me feel good, but the next day, uh, gun, uh, yeah, the, the gun sales went up. For sure. And they're like, what? They showing these niggas jacked up? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For real. Oh, we don't want that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real. But, but, yes. Like, like, like the whole gun patrol thing, it, it's, it's crazy because I'm, I'm thinking like, this is all set up. Like, it looks like it's all set up. Like. Like you can't, you can't tell me, player, you can't tell, I'm telling yeah, you, like and the whole world, the whole world is on that, yes, so, sir. Tarantino makes this movie, then you got, you got the, the, the Aurora Theater shooting, you yeah. got the Sandy Hook, the schools, 
And then you know, like all this, like that shit been in play. Like Django didn't just pop up. Like, like it's been I'm years in the making. It's been years you know in the making. Like, gun control shit. Like that's, it's been years in the making. You know what I mean? Like they've been firing these situations, man. Like, I'm telling you, know what's coming down. So they know what's coming down. They so then, then when you down, see, right. when you see, like now they making gun laws that just got passed yesterday in New York. Uh, they they signed a bill where you can't buy. Ammunition like that. Yeah, they're making it harder. You know what I'm saying? They're making it harder to buy ammunition. Deep and background checks. And now, who's that for? I, you already know who it's for. That's I what mean, I'm saying. <laughs> man, put that in motion. You know what I mean? With that domestic violence thing, making that a felony. You can't yeah. possess a. I'm telling you. you I'm know telling you. And, I, and, and that whole thing, I think is everything is pitted against us. It is. And and, and it's. You were you sad. It's sad. Where's it like, coming from? Who the biggest seller? So I mean where where's the shit? And like Herman said, like, like Herman said, they, they got some countries that don't even have firearms. Right. right. They said their police go around with batons and right. flashlights. Well, don't they nobody zero has guns. Firearms. Zero gun violence. Right. Exactly. So exactly. I mean, you know, we sit there, we think the guns protect these guns ain't gonna protect you from yeah, shit. Yeah, when the government, yeah, when the government yeah. want to come in, right, they come in. Yeah, right, exactly. You can't. And people used to buy guns to protect themselves from the government. Right. No, no. When the government right. comes, they come. In. Call yeah. David Koresh right. and all that. Right. Ask them what happened. Right. You know what I'm saying? Randy Weaver. The, and right. I'm telling you, the 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 uh, Waco. Yes, sir. Call them. And, and, and see how they came in through them, through them upstairs windows. Most definitely. When they come in, they come in, man. They can send a drone <coughs> underground and get you, man. Most definitely. Come on, man. Sorry, like good of you to join us, brother. How are you doing? I'm dude? well, thank you. Yeah, well, yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about Django, brother? Oh, man, this is one of the best movies I've seen. One, one of the, the best, best movies. movies. I loved it. Oh, yeah? Well, come tell us about it. So, yes, sir. How did you feel, huh. Django, brother? You know what? Come here, Saeed. Well, I'm about to come to Uncle's here. I can talk you to can you. Come. I'm, I'm, I'm already had his debut. I'm just talking about it's Sunday. Me and Sunday on church. Uh, I'm gonna jump in here before we get. Yes, sir. I thought I thought Django was uh, was uh, very good. I think that um, some people a little bent up because it was directed by a white director. You know. But Spike. shit, man. If, mm -hmm. if you know, black directors should have did the movie. Right. You know, if that's the case. Black directors. I, I thought it was real heavy. When uh, Leonardo DiCaprio was had the skull out, he was comparing the skull. That's that's an actual science that that was uh, created by this dude named Johann Blumenbach on how he he wanted to prove the inferiority of black people. And they kind of like touched on that in the movie. It's real heavy, you know. You should look up Johann Blumenbach, and he and he, and he breaks Johann down that whole Blumenbach. cranium. You know, black black folks are very docile, very you know they can only do this. Where you know white folks are very uh, um, skilled at doing this. You know, so check him out. You know, I thought it was very good. It's you know I felt good that you know that it portrayed a black man who was not afraid to lose his life to save his wife. You know, so I thought I thought the movie was I thought the movie was on time. I thought it was good. <laughs> anytime they show anytime they show black man, you know, running up on running up on white folks, man, he get his ass killed. You know, we got you know, we kinda got touched on that with uh, with the movie Rosewood, where you had uh, Denver's own Colin Cheeto play the character Sylvester, where he showed a lot of strength in the movie, you know? Right. But then after a while, Don you Chilo. don't see him no more. Yeah, yeah Don, Don Chilo. Chilo. You don't see him no more. At the end of the movie, where they fleeing and trying to get on the, on the train, mm -hmm. you see him on the horse running out the woods, right. you know? Mm -hmm. But you, it, it's like, it's, 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 it's like an unfulfilled feeling on, you know, like, then what happened after you was, you know, just shooting that white folks and shot your mama, they ran up in your house. Mm -hmm. They ran your children in the woods. You was holding it down, but then what happened? You know, 
And what about Spike Lee, man? Spike Lee said he thought that the movie, he wasn't going to see it because he thought that the fact that a white director covering uh, that content, uh, slave trade and slavery, <laughs> and using it as a backdrop in what he called the spaghetti western, he thought that was disrespectful. What, what, what were your I, thoughts I don't, I don't think that was disrespectful. I don't think that was disrespectful to his ancestors. <laughs> but that's my opinion. Right. He may see that totally different. Because you did have, you know, blacks who were out west. Right. Who came back east and down south to, 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 to liberate their people. You know, Spike Lee is angry because I judge he... He didn't think He so. didn't do the movie. He Spike, you were scared. Let me tell you, Spike. <laughs> Spike, I think you were scared to do the movie, man. Right. Scared to do the right thing, Spike. Right. You were scared. Mookie. Mookie. I was right thing. You were scared, Spike. And I love don't, Spike be, don't be hating, Spike. Don't be hating on them, Spike Lee. Uh, I love Spike, Spike Lee. And Spike Lee congratulated that movie. People look at Spike in a different light. See, people that hate, people look at them like, oh, he's a little hater. Right. Leave him over there. <laughs> there ain't no, there ain't no, you, know there, you can't progress being a hater, man. But, but truth is truth. Truth this, is truth. This, this, this portrayal of a black man on the silver screen has never been portrayed. Right. You know, and that was had, a good. That right. was you good. You know, you had the black exploitation. You know, you don't have that sort of thing going on in the seventies. But to, to, to the, to this degree and of this magnitude, and during a period of slavery where you was for sure gonna get. Your life taken, yes, sir. your nuts cut off, your penis cut off, and then it was the other thing which is so savage was that you had people who would who would bid for bid for you know the black man's right toe, bid for his right. penis, yes, bid for his ears, you right. know, and then they would pull it in a, uh, pickle it and put it in the goddamn uh, bar, yeah. you know. So to have somebody just like. No, I'm not go I'm not going for this. I'm not dealing with this. I'm getting my woman by any means necessary. Yes, sir. And I'm gonna come up out of it. Right. I thought it was good. I thought it was brilliant. And somebody said, well, you know, I didn't like it because I mean if you if you like roots mixed with shaft, then yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I like that. Right. Yeah, I, I like to see that. Right. You know? Roots mixed Man, with shaft. Man, I all the people like I said, all the people that that didn't like it, they were scary black people. They were scary. They, they scary. Spike, you sitting at the Knicks games every night, man. Go 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 do some movies, man. Right. Yeah, you, you at the Knicks game every night on the floor at the Knicks game arguing with referees, man, on the fix. This shit is fixed, man. You go then you go make a movie about a Eddie Long. You know what I'm saying? You make a movie about Eddie Long and expect everybody to be like, oh Spike Lee's movie. Man, come on, man. Eddie Long. Yeah, he, he, a pedophile. Red right. summer. Yeah, that, pedophile. That was, that was a, little a preacher. Twist in that joint. Yeah, it, had a, it was it was boring until you got to the twist. Then <laughs> then R. Kelly in the closet came out again. <laughs> so you're like, come on, Spike. Spike can't be more creative. Uh, uh, uh. But you know, Spike is mad. You know, Spike did Malcolm X. You know what I'm saying? He did the he did the Malcolm X uh oh little Malcolm X but he he twisted Malcolm X too he, he twisted that up too to where it wasn't supposed to be, Spike. You talk to somebody you, you talk to somebody the whole time for two or three months, then you don't use nothing that they said in the movie. Right. Come on, Spike. Hey, Trap, can I touch you Come on, right. Spike. You know what I'm talking about? Come on, Spike. Spike Lee was talking about how Django was disrespectful. To his ancestors, <laughs> just like Dr. Wesley Muhammad said, huh? Right. When he did Malcolm X, he was very disrespectful to our our language. Right. right? Uh, to the message yes, to, to, to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, sir. Now he's very disrespectful, so he need to check his mouth before he speak. Uh -huh. You know. And Cat Williams, uh, we ain't gonna talk about you, Cat. <laughs> uh -huh. We ain't gonna talk about you, Cat, because you on that. Uh, on that cat Cyrus. You on that cat You on that body Cyrus. That uh on that Betty that Ryan, Ryan Carey. <laughs> <laughs> that Betty you Ryan. Ryan. You on that Celine Dion. <laughs> <laughs> so cat, cat, you don't get
Joker. You, don't, you shouldn't even say that about that cat. You ain't even no actor. Huh. What you talking about, man? You're on that Barbara Streisand. Yeah, cat, cat tripping. Cat tripping. Cat got a contract doing two shows, two shows a night, but he throw one show every everywhere he go. He right. throws a show. At least one. Like I ain't doing two shows. I'm doing one. He come out, throw the mic. Everybody, everybody, get your money back. Throw the mic down the league. Come on, cat. <coughs> Arguing, fighting in the audience. <laughs> That cat slapped the dude at Walmart, I mean at, at Target, he slapped the checker, the, 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 the cashier at, at yeah. Target, <laughs> slapped the shit out of him. <laughs> cat, bring your little ass in this barbershop and I'll tell you about yourself uh-huh. and I dare you to slap me. Uh-huh. And you be on World Star uh-huh. getting drugged uh-huh. across that street. And then, pimp in. Get drug across that street <laughs> like a, a lion <laughs> on drug it, a deer up in a tree, motherfucker. Come on, baby. Yeah, come on, man. Mm-hmm. Everybody's mad about because a white dude made the movie, man. Come on, get get a grip. The white yeah, if a white dude make a good movie, don't matter where truth. It don't right. matter. It don't uh, matter who made true. the movie. Truth, the truth, truth is true. Yeah. It don't matter who made the movie. And I wonder that white man, man. Why well, I got you, brothers? You know, I've been seeing a lot of things on um, on the news and on TV. A lot of stuff flying under the radar. But it's this whole it's this whole feminization piece, and we talked about that on one of the shows as well. But it's it's with these hip hop dudes, man. They got like they got dudes wearing leggings and they calling them man leggings or meggings they got rappers in skirts now like men, man. Don't, men don't do that like this is your boy asap rocky right here oh wow 106 the park oh no brother that's a kill no for real no nah, that ain't no damn kill that's, that's a, a dress, dress. That's, that's a straight a skirt, up dress man, man. <laughs> So you trying to you shaping the minds of the kids. You know when you do on one on six park, you shape the minds of the kids. So the kids grow up, they really they really gay. A lot of them don't really even be gay, but they just want to experiment. But he's not the only one though, man. Then they end up here. Uh, when he's not selling uh Chirac vodka, oh Diddy rocking a skirt. He got on a plaid. Oh they got him. Oh he crossed. Oh they crossed oh, They got him. They got him. They got him. They got him. Right. See, that's the thing. When you, run out of, when you run out of things to do. <laughs> The thing ain't to be gay, y'all. Not like, for real. When you if you run out of something to do, man, go find something else. Like like me, I got a I, I got like a, I got a metal detector, man. Huh? <laughs> you running out of hobbies, man? Don't go don't go to no gay bar, man. Go. Go, huh, man. <laughs> go somewhere. I got a, I got a metal detector. I'll go to the field. Most yeah. That take hours, man. I'm Most looking yeah. for change. Most, but look, look what look what hip hop used to be, though, man. You know what I mean? Hip hop used to be the most masculine. Genre of music that you would have out okay. there, you know what I mean. But when you got every kid in the world that wants to be a rapper, right? Because they don't want to work, they want to be a rapper. The, the, the glamorous life of a rapper that's like, oh, I love to rap. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I got a son that's a rapper. I did not want him to be a rapper, yes, sir. I don't want him, it's consuming him, man. He's 23. And it, it's like consuming him. Like mm-hmm. he's getting close to making it, but you ain't you ain't made it yet. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So you got it, it's hard. And he I think he's like one of the best rappers I ever heard. Yes, sir. But he's not being, you know, he's not heard like that. Like, you True know what I'm saying? And coming from where we at, we got this is the hater state. Like, don't nobody want to see nobody else right. make it. Yeah, rapping. yeah, yeah, yeah. But we don't have no rappers out there. We don't have no we got rappers out there, but we don't have no rappers. They haven't asked him to put on a dress yet, though, have they? Not they sure. ain't asked him to put on a dress. I don't think he would put on a dress. I think I think that's the reason why he's unsigned right now, because he don't really want to sign no con he don't want to sign his soul over. He wanna right. sign a contract, but he don't he still wanna be the right. same person right. that he is. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Most like he definitely. don't wanna he don't wanna be on the casting couch. 
But she you know what I'm saying? So he's scared to sign the contract. You got wise people, though, man, that's, that's, that's checking out music and it's influence. Yeah. And so a lot of these companies, like, they only let certain shit through. Like, yeah. real rap, man, hip hop is really knowledge and emotion. Be so still, it's cool, good of you to join us. <laughs> still, but you know, like, it's a tool, man, that can be used to educate, man, and use music to educate a whole culture. They don't want the culture, you know, like the people educated, though. So they're going to let bitches, blunts, and bullets be the rule of the day when it comes to this rap shit. Yeah. Being gay. Is is what's up? It's gone. It's yeah, them. you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. They fucking off. Cause you got millions music. and millions and millions of people that watch rap, that like rap, that love rap. You know what I'm so, saying? Like, I mean, you know, I love rap. But you're never gonna catch me in those skirts. Most definitely. Man, you don't want to be like uh, Diddy and Kanye. Man, Diddy and Kanye, he, he's rocking the leather. Come on, skirt. man. They got leather skirts with <laughs> leather leggings up under it. That's yeah. that's a woman's outfit, man. Straight he, up. He thinks it's a gladiator outfit. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's a woman's outfit, man. <laughs> like you know, you go, you be like, nah, that's a girl, that's a girl scarf. We, we wouldn't even wear scarves, like you know, it'd be like that's a girl scarf. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it gets some masculinity to a scarf. Mm-hmm. I wear a scarf. You know what I'm saying? Like dudes is like, I don't know. It's a lot of things that go on that in the in the music world where they know how influential it is. They know. Like they're yeah, not, they know, you know, man. they ain't gonna put just like just like when Dipset was out. Dipset was doing that whole little no homo skit, mm-hmm. no homo. They mm-hmm. shut that down so fast, fast. Man. when they figured out what they was talking about. Mm-hmm. They're like, what were they talking about? Mm-hmm. They like no homo, no homosexual. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they pushing that homosexual um, agenda, man. So that's what that's what Dipset was on, sure. and they just busted Dipset up like. Yep. Just busting them up, shut everybody down. You shut up, you like, shut up, you shut up. You got hard ass groups like Dead Prayers, man, who ain't finna get no. They ain't never gonna get no. They ain't never you know gonna get no no radio. Play they ain't gonna get no radio until they, until they until they go sell out. And put yep. on skirt. That's what it is. You got you got to put the skirt. Oh, well, like, oh, I don't though, like right? that. I don't like that. <laughs> man, I don't like. Man, that. I'm just saying, if you are gonna be gay, man, be all the way, man. Go on, be like. Stop yeah, playing, man. man. Stop you playing, man. Yeah, don't be on this. <laughs> yeah, let's be all the way like this dude right here. So, Get it all the way in. Miss Jack. Miss Jack. Don't play. Be like yeah, Miss Jack. Like Jack. <laughs> Go all the way like Miss Jack. Do your thing. Do, hey, we applaud you. So I'm like, um, so I'm like, um, do your thing. Or get you some thug love. You yeah, really right. want to be gay. Get you some thug love. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We got that thug in the Got a whole mustache and that's what we got that man neck. Hey, that's where we at, man. That's where we at right now. That's like, son, man. But you know, like, like instead of instead of killing everybody, it's uh that's part of the uh That's part of the killing process. That's part of the control. Population control. Population control. Yeah, yeah man. Mm-hmm. Like if I could put a dude with a dude. We know ain't no babies that's coming a out. Silent of weapon right there. That's a, I, it's a silent yeah, weapon. Yeah, they ain't even silent no more. Cause I know what it is. Mm-hmm. I put, I make a, a woman attractive to a woman. There ain't gonna be no kids coming out of that union. No, not at all. Come on, man. Exactly. Not at all. Conspiracy. The earth ain't getting no bigger. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 that's conspiracy. Yeah, that's crazy, man. But I mean, it is what it is. That's I mean, that's people's choice. Go ahead, roll with that. Right. <laughs> roll with that. Leave all the women out here for you know. Us. Yeah. 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 Like we'll be here. <laughs> Send them up to the train. Train up. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Why well, want to wear a dress, man? But that that's in everything, though, huh? Now the most most masculine sport is football. Mm-hmm. These brothers are wearing tights. Yes, so, so think about it. Yes, think about it. They wear tights and yes, slap each other on the booty. Hard. Right. <laughs> like it's the thing to do. <laughs> Another day in the office. <laughs> they got them little African lady braids like RG3. Yeah. Oh yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> RG3, man. I, 
his man's hair is longer than the Indian's hair as well. RG3 is something else, man. You look good hanging out the back of their head. With them extensions, man. Good fellas is playing football with extensions, man. Yeah. Come on, man. It's the thing to do. It's the thing to do. About 25% of your team now have dreads. Right. You ain't never see that. Right. Yep. If you fast with the dreads, what if you cut them off? You right. might be a little bit fast <laughs> <laughs> with five pounds going off right. your head. <laughs> See the aerodynamics. Yeah, See, they're talking about gun control right now on TV. That ain't gonna. That ain't gonna beat. They gun control. They're not gonna give up their guns. They ain't gonna. They, they ain't gonna give up their mm-hmm. guns, but, no. but they, they talk they're about ammunition. They'll go to war for us. They'll yeah. go to war for us. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. you can look for it. Yeah, not from my car. They ain't gonna do that. Yeah, they. Oh, I know they ain't. No, they gonna say if you ain't got your guns already, you can't get none. Can't no get them. Mm-hmm. That's what they gonna do. Yeah, right. So, They'll know. find a way to get them. So now, now yeah. everybody, now yeah. everybody gonna go and start buying guns. It's, you know, it's just yeah, a gun yeah. They said they can't keep the uh, any, the semi-automatic weapons on the shelf. Yeah, though. it's like a six no. one. The semi-automatic. Wait, they can't keep them off the shelf. They said for every one hundred persons, there are eighty-eight point eight guns in America. And the people who advocate it, they got guns. Right. They got guns. Yeah. Like the lady, the uh, congresswoman from Arizona. Yeah. I saw an interview with her. She said, we got guns. Mm-hmm. Now, if you against this and these type guns, you should get right out front and be the example. Yeah. So mm-hmm. get rid of yours. Yeah. I got rid of mine. Yeah. She yeah. said she's got hers. She ain't giving And the up. lady yeah, yeah, down there, you know, it was one kid killed in that incident. One kid. Hmm. And the mother of that kid, she says, we got guns. But hmm. they talking about banning assault weapons, but she got them. Right? Hmm. Even the boy in uh, Newtown, his mother. Yeah, right. he gives his mom's guns. Yeah, his yeah. Mom's assault weapons. And his mom was a you school know, teacher. What she needed a gun right, for? Right. Like right. that. That if you heavy. promote something, yeah. you be the first one to get out front. Right. Yeah. So follow my example. I got rid of mine. Shit, they ain't seeing nothing about getting rid of them. Well, it, well, they're going to see me in the gun class real early, real soon. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going to. <laughs> I will be there to get in mine. <laughs> Give me my issue. He's all going to shoot four shots. Four shots. Four shots. <laughs> four shots. <laughs> and three of them going to be in the air. They're going to sound like people in the studio. Like old 70s here. She on trial right now. She left him in the bath. She, he was in the shower. Yeah. Now she took a picture of him. They took pictures of themselves oh, after they, they just had sex. He went and got in the shower. She took a picture, the last picture of him alive when he was in the shower. The next picture was him dead. She done slit his throat. They said she slit his throat so bad his head was on that, that 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 his she she cut his his spine. Wow. Then she shot him. Oh. Then she stabbed him. I was like, wow. Like, Ooh. she went in like, on him. She. Wow. Yeah, she. She. You know, she, 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 she had no, she had nothing in her eyes. Like, like that, she didn't man. have no soul, man. Yeah. And I'm like, man, it got to be some clone. Listen, 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 man. You know what? A, a lot of this, you know, like, this school shootings and movie theater shootings is because you looking at these are young people doing this. This is the same generation, man, where they started that, you know, if you five girls playing the basketball, everybody win, everybody get a rip. You right. know, everybody, yeah, like play, that. they won a hundred yard race, I'm everybody like get a first grade, uh, right. a first, a first place rip. I don't right. like that. If you don't lost, nobody, you know lost. How, don't nobody know Step how to lose. Hey, give it slow don't nobody mic. know how to, don't <laughs> nobody know how to, how to, you know how to win, don't nobody know how to lose. Yeah. So now when he's a grown man, and he get the draws in a bunch, and he don't know how to take that, then he go get the heat and go yep, up in the right, movie theater right. and start blasting them folks, man. Right. Man, that whole yep. that whole thing right there, man, is making little boys, man, 
punks, man. You know, yeah, yeah. doing that. <laughs> just some yeah, yeah, yeah. fag ass, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. kind of business. You know? yeah, yeah. I can't handle this, so I'm gonna go shoot the damn movie theater up. Right. You faggot. Yeah. Did you just say <laughs> fag, man? Fag boy. Did you just say little fag boy? About yourself. Get your learn about yourself. Since you, you ain't running up in no movie theaters and stuff, learn, learn about yourself. All right? Man, what size is this? <laughs> learn who you are, man. That's it. That's great style. We oh, out, yeah. y'all. See y'all there. That is Woo. Ten and a half. Happy birthday. Like, coming up where we from, man, it was like, niggas had to hustle to get this money. No matter what. Feed your family. You do what you got to do to survive. And it was like... Hustling didn't necessarily mean drugs. 
anything you do. Nothing was ever given to us. We get this money as fast as we can and get out. Bro, what you know about game? You know what I'm dying about when they're screaming my name. And you can check.